Before this video starts, make sure you guys subscribe, because roughly 70% of you guys aren't who are watching my videos. And if you want to buy some merch, the link is in the description. Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Begins Gaming. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty videos today. We have content, there's a lot of new stuff, a lot to go through, and I have some packs, so I'm just going to run through this super quickly. So we have the new run it back thing in Conquest, and it's pretty cool. If my game could load, there we go. So we got a new, oh my god. So we got a new Conquest map. You do goals, and basically you just do the whole map, and you get a free pack. And I'll show you the cards that you can get out of the pack in a little bit. But this is repeatable, so you can do this as many times as you want. Get the pack as many times as you want. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, come on, jeez. So I'm going to show you the cards. Basically, it gives you, it's a choice pack. Oh my god, what is going on with my Wi-Fi? Come on. Oh my god, this is so annoying. So it's a choice pack, and basically, you get to choose one player. So it has, what, like 15 players, something like that? Only five come up, and you can pick one of them. So they're prime signature and awards. So the signature ones are 94 Lee Smith, and this is a pretty good reliever. His hits per nine is a little low, but he has great case per nine, great velocity break, good control, great pitch mix. Or I wouldn't say great, but a good pitch mix. Everyone loves this gold card, so this card should be pretty good. We also have signature series Tony Perez, 95 overall. Just a nice bat. That's a pretty cheap option, and you can get... And also, these guys are sellable, and they're, they're going to be really cheap. Uh, but a pretty good hitter. Not much value fielding-wise. Uh, we got Cliff Lee, 97, or 96 overall signature series for the Phillies. Sinker, cutter, four-seam, circle change, knuckle curve. It's a pretty good pitch mix with good control, velocity, and break. The hits per nine and the keys per nine are a little low, but if you can get around those per nines, he could be pretty good, honestly. Uh, who else is there? I think that's, I know, we have two more signatures in the pack. 98 overall, Billy Williams. 109, 110 contact, 99, 88 power, 113 vision, 104 discipline, 110 clutch. Not good defense, it's Billy Williams, but he does have first base, so that helps. And then the last signature card in this pack, yeah, the last signature card in this pack is 98 overall, Burt Bly Levin. He's pretty weird, he has two curveballs. No movement east or west, because he has a curveball, a four seam, a 12 six curveball, a change up and a two seam. So all of his pitches are gonna go straight or up and down. Except the two seam a little it'll go in a little, but there's no cutter, no slider. This card isn't good. Like just just don't get him. He's really not good. Uh no, I didn't mean to click on Walter Johnson. Alright, those are the signature series cards in the pack. Uh, but the prime cards, there's a bunch. We got prime Tyler Clipper, 91 overall reliever, great per nines, great control. Low velocity, uh, the pitch differentials for speeds are pretty good. Four seam changeup, caught a curveball is a little lacking. If he had a sinker, I think he would be better. Elvis Andrews, prime, 88, 87 contact, 54, 52 power. Of course, he has to have great bunting. Solid fielding, solid speed and stealing, just a... Decent shortstop card, nothing nothing too spectacular. 94, Greg Holland, prime. 108, 125 per nines. 83 control, 86 velocity, 99 break. Four seam slider, splitter, curveball, that's a pretty good card. Uh, the next one is 95, 95 overall prime, Adam Wainwright. Overall, all around a pretty good card. He's very similar to Oral Hershiser's face of the franchise. Jonathan Lucroy Prime, pretty good card. Uh, they, I'm excited for Kevin G.O.D. because he better use him. If you guys watch Kevin G.O.D., you'll understand what I mean. Does have diamond defense at catcher, pretty solid contact hitter. We have Curtis Granderson, really only good against righties. His stats against lefties aren't as good. Gold Defender, good speed and stealing. That's going to be the last Curtis Granderson card ever, unless they get him as a legend in the future. Because this is the last year they have his rights. Wade Davis, 125, 117 per nines. Really good. 99 velocity, 97 break. Really good. The control isn't amazing. He does not have outlier. This is definitely going to be the, the first card I get. 
Uh, he's a great reliever, and I'm going to try him out. Also, before I go away, look at his pitches. Four-seam cutter, knuckle curve, sinker slider. It's pretty good. I mean, the pitch differences, dif differences aren't the best, but I think he'll be pretty decent. Next is going to be in the awards. These are the last few cards of the pack. We got uh, 97 Silver Slugger, Javi Baez. 97, 108, 95, 100 for hitting stats. Great defense, maxed out arm, good speed. Nice card. Has some secondaries. And then there is also 98, Paul Goldschmidt. 104, 125 contact, 90, 99 power. Great discipline, clutch, diamond defense. That's a really good first baseman, honestly. I just think they're better first baseman in the game. And then the last card is 99 overall gold glove, Andrew Jones. 100, 106 contact, 20, or 25, 95, 77 power, 93 vision. Andrew Jones, he's going to have a really good fielding. He has 99 fielding, 99 reaction with 92 arm, 91 arm accuracy, great speed. It's a really good card. He's one of the better ones, but it's underwhelming the power wise for that card. So yeah, those are, those are the guys in the new pack. Uh, the new tops now cards, you got Tanner Houck, nice pitches, good all-around stats. Kyle Higashioka from my Yankees, he had a three-homer game, that's what this is off of. We got Tyler Stevenson, who actually plays on only the show. Good card, we got Brandon Nimmo, pretty good card. I'm flying through these because I have a lot to go over. We have Byron Buxton, we have Brian Anderson. Yeah, those are the new Tops Now cards. And then in the roster update, I'm just going to go through it really quickly. The new Diamonds are... I'm just going to go through these. The new Diamonds are... Okay, I'm just going to show you guys these. The new Diamonds, Nick Anderson, Jose Ramirez, Corey Seager, uh, Byron Buxton, and Devin Williams. Those are the five new Diamonds. You guys can just look at these or just go in the game. I don't feel like it. Uh, we just go through these. Yeah, I'm not even going to go through their stats. I'm just going to show you guys the pluses and the minuses. Correa, almost a silver, because you can't cheat anymore. Always have to point that out. Uh, yeah, not much. Or, what am I saying? Not much. This is a huge roster update. Uh, alright. Kyle Schwarber's a bronze. Cabrian Hayes. So, that was so... I was so bad to hear about what happened to him. If you don't know, just look it up. Uh, Miguel Sano's a bronze. Ooh, that's a great bronze. Bobby Dahlbeck. Just some changes. Bruce Dark Rodewall's upgrades. I mean, that's good. And, yeah, whatever. So that's the roster update now. I have some packs to open. So I'm going to open these packs because I've been doing Conquest Extreme. And I got all these packs within like an hour. All right, Omar Derby, we get the base tier. Great. Uh, which one's the most expensive? All right. 8488. Eight. Yeah, all right. 8487. Headliner set one, Jeff Bagwell. And no. Headliner set 16, Jason Hayward. Not worth that much. I take a diamond pull, though. Nope, silver. All right, prospect set one. Get the rare tier. All right, that's actually good because that's. Decent amount of stubs. 47938, 48989. Alright. So 48988. There we go. That's actually a good amount of stubs in the set two. We get the base tier. Okay. Are these guys quick sells? No, they're not. Alright. 6748. Alright, 30 show packs. Three bond packs. I'm also going to save time and I'm just going to go over the new content that's coming out next week instead of going to the calendar now. So basically on Monday, the new ranked season starts. It's the reward. They said, oh, I forgot to show the, hold on, I forgot to show the new Cal Ripken Jr. The, uh, the new World Series reward is, it's only going to be one. And here's the Cal Ripken Jr. A really good 99 card that's completely free to get. Uh, but... The new World Series reward is an MVP flashback. I think it's going to be Albert Pujols. Uh, could be Verlander. Could be a bunch of other guys, though. But I think it's going to be Albert Pujols. And another gold, Jose Iglesias. I don't know why they didn't update his his uh, picture. Because they upgraded so many players' pictures. I don't know why they didn't upgrade uh, change Jose Iglesias' picture. Especially because he's playing well, too. 
All right, 24 show packs. Can I pull one diamond, please? Please, just one diamond pull. Come on, and no, that doesn't count. I'll take it, though, but it doesn't count. And, all right, now that we pulled diamond, can we pull a diamond player, not a diamond glove? Nope. 20 more show packs. Nope. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. My pack luck has been pretty bad recently, I think. Yeah, it hasn't been that good recently, but it's been good in the past. It's been bad in the past, so it's whatever. 17 more show packs. I'm probably just going to open these and get nobody. I'm just going to switch up the mojo and open the ball and pack. And no, we do not get a diamond. All right, back to the show packs and nothing. Jacob Stallings, he's doing pretty well. One of the few bright spots on the Pirates. More bronzes. All right, come on, come on. Give me a diamond. No. I'm just going to go through these as quickly as possible, not waste your time. Gio Urshela, another upgrade for Gio. No, no. Can we get a diamond? No, we cannot. No. Do not? Come on. All right, 11 more showbacks. Give me a diamond player. No, we do not. 10 more. Nope. Antonio Senzatella. I think he got upgraded. I think he was a bronze. More bronzes. Vocal backs on the Brewers now? Oh, I he was on the Blue Jays, and then they cut him. After uh, the Mariners DFA'd him. And still nothing. Matthew Boyd is a bronze. Wow. Six more show packs. Give me a diamond, please. Ryan Fear Band. Get out of here. Five more show packs. Give me a diamond. No. Silver. David Price. Uh, Heimer. Whoa. Heimer Candelario has some pretty good hitting stats. I mean, he's playing well in real life, but... I didn't see that coming. Three more show packs. Nothing. Still, Travis Jankowski, he was on the Padres, and then he was on the Reds, and now he's a free agent. According to that card, he might just be injured, and they could just be being an, Or they could... Yeah, what? Forget it. Uh, one more show pack. Won't we even pull a single diamond? No, we can't. Of course, two more ball and packs. Give me a diamond. Come on. Come on. No, we get Blake Snell. One more, and no. Don't pull a single diamond. And we get a cheater who sucks at baseball at the end. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. Those packs were horrible. I mean, I got one rare tier pull, but yeah. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your listening from Big Ants Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.